What is that that you have done? I don't know. Air a hope. Yo, welcome back to the channel. Look, I'm so excited to see you guys again. Uh, my name is Tony with New Era Hope, and if you guys are new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Look, join the part of the family, join the family. Let me get that right. We're building brands, we're teaching people how to start businesses. Look, I just wanna say this. I have missed you guys so, so much these last few, few weeks. If you guys have noticed, we have not been uh, putting out any videos. We try to do one video a week, but uh, recently we had some problems here at the shop where we actually had to shut the shop down because the electricity was not wired properly. Now it wasn't anything that I set up in a print shop. Um, using that high uh, maintenance equipment actually showed us that we had some other electrical issues. So we had to get those things taken care of, but we are back now and we are working full force. So we just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for your support because I've been looking at these videos and looking at these views, you guys are blowing my mind like 800 views, 900 views. I was looking at that like, what? Like we just put those videos out. But I just thank you guys so much. Again, if you're new here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button where we teach. This is where we teach people how to start brands. Look, we are so open and transparent with our business because we want to show you guys what we do and how we did it to get where we are. And, uh, and maybe help you guys where you don't have to like make so many bumps and things like that along the way. But today we have a very very exciting video for you guys so i was sitting at my desk and as i was sitting at my desk i was creating a design and as i was creating this design i'm like hmm this design has a lot of colors in it so it dawned on me i thought to myself i wonder if my viewers know how to properly separate colors so this you would think this would be easy you go and you buy a a, a very expensive uh color separating program and wham bam you're done but I have a very simple solution for you guys. Um, this solution is like almost instant. And the best part is it's free. <laughs> like you don't have to pay a dime to separate your colors. Now, there is a bit of a disclaimer. This does not work if you have full color print designs. So if you have a color, a design with a lot of gradients, a lot of different hues and tones and things like that that are blending, this will not work for you. It, it may, but I don't think this will work for you. Um, this is specifically for people who have solid color designs. So if your design has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors, but those colors are solid and you just want to separate them so you can get them printed or get them burned onto different screens, this will be perfect for you. And I'm going to show you guys how to instantly do it for free. Well, not necessarily free. You will need Photoshop, um, which is about 20 bucks a month. But if you have Photoshop, then it's free because you already paid for it. So I'm going to show you guys how to separate colors instantly. Look, this is not clickbait. This is not clickbait at all. Stay tuned. We are going to the print shop right now. Here we are again in the office. Oddly enough, I don't really use this office. This is actually my second office. Um, the office here at the shop and I don't really use it much. I may actually need to uh, expand this to something else. Um, but back to business. So here we are, we're in Photoshop. If you know me, you know I'm always in Photoshop. Some people prefer Adobe Illustrator, um, but me, I am a Photoshop person. I do use both, I will admit that. I use uh, Illustrator as well for certain things. Um, it's good to be familiar with both of them, but I'm going to show you an easy, easy way uh, to separate these colors. So here in this design we have uh, one, two, three, four, we got about four or five colors um, in this particular design and I'm going to show you a very easy way. So if you're following along with me um, and you have your artwork open up, the first thing that you want to do is go up top right here where it says select and then you want to go right down where it says color range and it's just it's, 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 it's this simple it's this simple go to color range and whatever color you want to take out first so we set this purple this whatever color this is purple pink we'll click on that we'll click OK so right now everything that has this sample color is selected so 
Um, if you've been following along my last videos, you know I like to call out the commands, but basically we'll just duplicate this by hitting Command J, Control J. If you're on, um, on iMac, it's Command J, but if you're on PC, it's uh, Control J. So hit that. And if you'll go ahead and hide this layer here, you can see that the purple is completely gone. So we'll go back and we'll do everything over. So we'll get this uh, select color range and now we'll get this this orangish yellow this dark yellow color everything that has that same color we'll go ahead and uh, duplicate that from the original layer and then we'll just keep doing this over and over until we actually get uh, each color so now we'll go to the blue control J now we'll get our blacks select color range We'll get our blacks, control J, and uh, let's see. Okay, I'm missing these other hues of yellow. So select color range. We'll get this, this mid range yellow, control J, and then we'll go ahead and get the last yellow here, which is the lighter yellow. and control J. So if we go ahead and we hide this first layer here, uh, we should be able to see. Okay, so we're still missing a few colors. So we'll go ahead and get those. Um, we have this orangish color here. We'll get that first. Select color range. We'll get that orange there. Control J. And then we have another color right up in here. And I'm actually, after we get these all separated, I'm actually gonna show you guys how you can then take these and uh, make them to where you can actually burn them on your screen in Photoshop. Um, Cause some people may not know how to do that as well. Okay, so we have this background purple color. We'll get that. Oh wait, select color range we'll get that background purple we'll go ahead and take that out let's look at it now oh wait I got the wrong color I'm sorry so there's two colors in there that I didn't even notice we got to zoom in extra close to see it. So if you see it, there's another hue right back here that's hiding out. So select, and that's how you, this is how furrow this thing is. Like it even picked up this hue back here that's hiding. So we'll get that, control J, and that should be all of our layers. But let's double check and see. Still missing a few. Oh, I'm missing some white. Let's zoom in and see. And looks like some blacks. So let's get that black select. Color range. We'll get our blacks. Control J. Let's see how that looks now. Perfect. So now that we have these layers separated, now what we can do is we can take off this first layer here. And when you go in, you can now start to take each layer off and you'll start to see each layer separate. And then the cool part about this is you can actually strip colors out that you don't want. So. <clears throat> For instance, we have, let's see which layer this is. You have this pink layer. And I think there's another one that is a pinkish color. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so we have that pink. And then we have this one as well. And you can't really see them while they're on top of each other. But what you can do is, you can then take these two layers here, since they're so closely knitted together, 
and now we can hit uh, Control E, which is merge, and now we just merge these two colors together. So it's a cool way you can, you know, merge colors as well um, and things like that. So <clears throat> the trick is you're wondering, okay, how do I take these separated colors and then how do I um, make screens from these separated colors? It's very simple. So I'm telling you, you guys can do this in no time. So for instance, we'll take this layer here, which is make sure all these other layers are hidden. So this here is one of our background colors, right? So of course, since it's, it's, uh, it's a pinkish color, you can't take this directly to the uh, exposure unit and then just burn this off because it may not burn right because it's not dark enough. So what you wanna do is double click on that layer. So double click it. And this extra window that I have now may not appear. For some reason, I do not know how to get this, these windows inside of Photoshop to appear on OBS but basically what I'm doing is I'm double clicking the layer then there's a box that pops up and you want to hit color overlay make sure the color is completely black so you'll go through and you'll make each one of these layers black you make each layer black once you make each layer black make sure you take out the background you would then take each of these you would set them up with your registration marks and things like that and then you would burn each and every one of these uh, individually after you have all of them burnt up individually what I like to do how I like to line mines up is I'll take each of the uh, films and then I'll just tape them all together and I make sure everything is perfectly lined up and once I see that everything is perfectly lined up then I'll put the screen on top of the films um, to make sure that everything is good um, but yeah, this is to me, this is the easiest way to separate colors. Um, I don't have to spend a lot of money on expensive programs. I don't have to um, hire somebody to separate the colors. Again, this only works if you have a design that isn't a gradient type of uh, design that has a lot of colors that are blending. But if you have colors that are um, solid colors and a, a bunch of solid colors, then this will work for you. Look guys, I hope I did say something today that, that helped you guys out. I hope that I saved you guys some money um, so you don't have to buy these expensive color separator programs. Um, if I helped you guys out, drop a comment, leave a thumbs up, let me know um, that the content that I'm creating is being helpful to you guys. Um, our sole purpose here at New Era Hope is to help you guys build your brands, to help you guys um, to succeed. We don't wanna just put out content you know, that you know nobody likes you know we want to put out content that people see and that is helping them you know we want to be able to help you guys and your brands so again we thank you guys so much for tuning in join the family hit that subscribe button wherever it is, is it over here in the corner or is it is it here wherever it is hit the subscribe button look if you like the merch if you like this hoodie here actually i think this one is out of stock we sold out of these very fast but we have all types of stuff on the website go shop www.newerahopeapparel.com Listen, stay tuned because the very next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make custom colors. So you see we have all of these uh, colors separated and this and that. We actually have a hoodie that we're about to release and it has like six different colors on it. I'm going to show you guys how to make custom colors. Stay tuned. Shout out to Ryan Nett. They really gave me some insight with this video. So not with this video, but with the next video about the custom color. So we're gonna show you guys how to easily, and I mean it so easily, you will be able to make any custom, any color that your customers or your, your clients are requesting. So again, thank you guys so much. And until we see you next time, we're out. Whew, thank you, Jesus.